Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would show you how to take a pattern envelope and make a couple of tags out of it. I'm also going to show you what I do when I do some fussy cutting. So what I've done so far is I've just gently pulled the envelope apart because I wanted to have all of these images that are on here. And I've got some Fisker scissors. I don't have the super, super micro touch scissors, but these work really well for me for what I like to do. And what I'm going to do is go in here and just cut out one of these images loosely so then I can go in and concentrate and fussy cut it a little bit better. So here's my tips when fussy cutting. What I learned a long time ago was if you will move the piece of paper and keep your scissors steady, you can actually get closer and be more consistent. If you want to get into these little bitty areas, you may need a micro tip. I like these little Fiskars. I think they're called Easy Touch because I don't have to put my hands into loops and that causes pain and pressure on my fingers whenever I'm doing that. By doing it this way, I just kind of hold it with my thumb and I can just go right on around. So all I do, let me see if I can change the zoom. So what I do is I get in here and I'll figure out where I want to go and I just move my paper back and forth, getting the image cut out a little at a time. If you take your time, you can get really close to the edges. And that's how I do it. I just sit here and rotate this paper back and forth, just opening and closing my scissors to fussy cut it out. It's really that simple. Um, I have a friend that she gets in there. She likes to be super, super close on all of her images. And I'm not near as precise. I just want to get it cut out. All right, so my image is basically cut out. If I want, I can go in here and cut those out. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll use an X-Acto knife to get it started. Let me move this out of the way. A craft knife, X-Acto knife. And if I go in here and kind of get it started by making a cut and then come down the center. And then I'll just go in and fussy cut around on the inside. So that's how I quickly fussy cut out an image. I'm going to do a little bit of distress ink around the edges. Not a lot, just a tiny amount. So it will kind of cover up any white edges I may have left. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so I've got a piece of scrapbook paper here that was in my stash. And I thought it would look kind of pretty behind her it's two-sided and I think the orange is too bright but I think the pink will make her stand out so what I'm going to do is cut this into pieces that can become tags I'm pretty confident I want the tags to be at least seven maybe seven and a half inches tall so I'm just going to do seven and a half so I'm going to cut down a strip here and I'll save that. Another tag can be made going the other direction. And now I'm going to cut, I think three inches would be good. I'm going to lay her on there and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's plenty of room for three inches. So I'm just going to do three inches. And I'll go ahead and cut the others because even though I'm only going to make one tag during the video right now, but I, I plan to cut out the other ladies that are on that pattern and make some more tags. I'm going to use my corner rounder on the top if you've got a tag corner you can. You can cut it at a diagonal. I like the rounded corner myself. I'm going to use the quarter inch side of the crocodile. I'm going to use some distress ink around the edges. I think she would look good on there. I've got a pattern piece. It may not work very well, so let's see. That might look kind of interesting. Maybe like that. I've also got, this looks like a little tape measure but I don't want to cover up too much of her. I may leave that off. I've got some washi tape laying here. Actually, I've got a, I see this little piece of trim. It's a little piece of trim. What if I were to glue that across the top there? I think that'll work, something like that. I've already, I stamped this and fussy cut it out. This is the rubber stamp, and then I fussy cut it out the same way I did the others. I don't think this is adhesive, I think. Okay, 
So I'm going to take that across there. And then I've got some of these words. Here we go. Love yourself. Okay. So what I'm going to do is glue down this pattern piece just using some Maline's Tacky Glue. I've got a little piece of fabric. And I wonder if it would look cute with that on top of it. And then her going over here. I think I like that. All right, so I'm gonna glue down this little piece of fabric here. I'm gonna glue down the little metallic piece on top. And I think I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and then add some zigzag stitches across the top and the bottom. So let's change our sewing cam. I've just got a regular sewing machine, regular needle, doing zigzag stitch with regular thread. I'm just gonna zigzag stitch right across the top here and then I'll flip it around and do the other side. I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of sew a little stitch down the side here. I'll do a straight stitch and then vary it back and forth. So it kind of just adds a little variation down the side. All right, so I think now what I want to do is place her on to the piece. So we're going to glue her down. I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole at the top to put some fibers onto our little tag. I've got the fibers that come in the Sew Artsy kit here. So I thought I'll just grab... Oh, just a little bit and trim it. I like to fold it in half and then I'll grab a piece of wax linen thread scrap and put it through there in the center and then pull this through the hole on your tag and it makes it a lot easier to get your fibers attached. So just open this back up and then gently pull your fibers through and tighten it up. And then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put this Love Yourself right down here on the bottom. And I've decided I don't like this sticking off the edges. I think it would look better if it was cleaner, so I'm just gonna trim it off. What do you think? I like that little tag, just something fun, using a pattern, using a rubber stamps, some scraps of fabric, this little piece of trim that I happen to have laying here on my desk. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're looking for the products that I use, check the description box below. But I hope you're inspired. And if you're inspired, please share this video with your friends so that they can create as we are creating. Y'all, thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Again, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell at the top. Check out my groups by Linda Israel and the Friendly Junk Journal people. And remember, I'm live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. with some more in-depth tutorials live where you can ask questions while I am working. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.